What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to be talking about imposter syndrome. When I was going through my coding boot camp, I didn't feel like I was learning. And I think that was like one of the biggest feelings, internal feelings within myself that I had to get over was that I'm not learning anything because the reality is, do you ever feel like you're learning when you're learning? I mean, when was the last time you consciously thought, hey, I learned that? Like maybe when you think back, you know, months, weeks, years after the fact, you know, like now, if I think back on boot camp, obviously I know that I learned a ton. It changed my entire life like that three months. But what I'm saying is while I was in boot camp, while I was in it, I had no idea. It didn't even feel like I was learning. I felt like I was sinking and every day you're throwing more and more and you're just laying more things on top of me and just like burying me in the ground. You know what I mean? So I had to get over that in order to realize like, I learned a lot of stuff before or I, I learned a lot more since day one <clears throat> and it's the small things that count guys so this is why I'm a big proponent of actually like writing down your goals and I'm not saying that it's related to programming but in any goal anything you want to do or achieve guys you have to write it down because if not you're going to lose sight of the goal while you're in the middle of achieving the goal and then you stop or you break or you get discouraged so it's important to set those goals because you have to know i'm further than i was yesterday and yesterday i was further than i was the day before that and it's those tiny steps that lead to big changes big growth and big you know changes in how much you've learned and things like that so <clears throat> imposter syndrome is really just a way of stopping yourself from getting started it's a way of discouraging ourselves from continuing forward and now that I'm, I'm a professional developer I'm at work I'm on my lunch break um, but now that I work with so many people who have been coding for 25 30 years professionally even they say they don't know everything it doesn't mean that they still feel imposter syndrome per se but that feeling of I know enough now or okay, I don't need to continue learning or I don't need to continue improving, that is never gonna go away. And I think that's what a lot of developers mean because you can ask any developer and I'm sure they're gonna tell you that imposter syndrome never goes away. But the reality behind it is that I don't think so much that imposter syndrome goes away. It's just an acceptance and a knowing that along the way, I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to have to ask questions. I'm going to need someone's help. It is not going to always be great. It's I'm not always going to understand when I'm learning because sometimes you're learning while you're stuck. Sometimes you're learning while you can't get a piece of code to work. You're learning by continually breaking the same thing or not being able to solve a certain problem because you're figuring out all the things that don't work. You're eliminating all the <clears throat> all the options that you thought were fixes, you know? So you're learning in that process of trying to fix something. Now, can it be frustrating? Of course. Can it, can it lead to you being discouraged? Of course. But nonetheless, don't lose sight of the fact that you're learning even when you're hitting an obstacle or running into a wall. So it's more about consistency and it's about reframing the way you look at failure or reframing the way you look at obstacles and challenges along the way. So that's pretty much it, guys. If this video was helpful in any way, please leave me a like, share, subscribe. It really helps me just stay motivated to keep making this content for you guys. Keep coming back and during the day, we're going to be dropping all types of motivational content, tutorials for programmers, entrepreneurs, just staying inspired, guys. And I want to start a new hashtag called Cotivation because I feel like that's exactly what this is. It's motivation for coders or motivation for coding. And so, yeah, I kind of want to start the hashtag Cotivation. You guys tell me what you think down in the comment section. Also, guys, be sure to check the description box for a lot of freebies i'm giving away so i realized that i'm learning all this stuff i'm doing all this stuff and there's all these like resources that i use that have helped me get to the point where i'm at now i use these when i build my projects and when i'm doing like side projects and front-end projects and things like that 
So I have made a lot of free resources that I'm going to continue to give away uh, to you guys in the description. So from now on going forward, guys, check the description box below for any new freebies that I give away. So check that out right now. I've got a coding bootcamp success checklist. So pretty much if you can check everything off on this checklist, you are ready to go to coding bootcamp and kill it, guys. That one's down in the description below. And there's also a free front end resource guide for anybody who is either a seasoned front end developer or who's just getting into front end and has no idea what's going on. So yeah, check that out in the description guys this is darian with darian the dev and i'll see you in the next video